Hey guys, this is Bobby Lee with Catfish Addiction, and I want to address salt, what it does, and how much to use in the new Catfish Addiction chiller bait tank. First two things I want to point out are first two words you need to familiarize yourself with. Osmotic shock and osmotic pressure. A Google search of these two words will help to clarify what salt does for freshwater fish. I'm going to explain it here, short, less detailed version. First thing, what kind of salt to use? 100% evaporated sea salt. Typically pool salt is additive free. Not all pool salts are additive free. Try to find one without additives or anti-clumping clumping agents. I prefer Diamond Crystal Splash Ready Pool Salt. It's finer than most pool salts. Doesn't have an anti-caking. And it's 100% additive free. Evaporated seawater. Table salt is not 100% salt. Water softener salt is not 100% salt. This will kill your bait fish quickly. Okay, back to osmotic shock. When you take a bait fish from their natural environment, overpopulate them in a bait tank, they start to become stressed. When the fish become stressed, they start losing electrolytes. They lose electrolytes through their gills and skin. Salt replenishes electrolytes and promotes a healthy slime coat, which in turn helps a fish maintain the proper osmotic pressure. So osmotic pressure, basically, is water trying to enter the fish until both sides are equal. Fish have to constantly, freshwater fish, have to constantly remove water through gills and urine. If they lose a slime coat, it makes it harder to keep the water out. Also, prevents them from removing water through their gills. So in short, Salt promotes a healthy slime coat, healthy gill function, replenishes electrolytes, which prevents osmotic shock and helps a fish maintain the proper osmotic pressure that they would in their natural environment. Now, how much salt to use in this tank? Depending on the bait fish, we like to do two to four cups of fine 100% non-iodized sea salt or pool salt. Two cups in this tank will bring your salinity level to approximately four parts per thousand. Four cups will bring your salinity to, you guessed it, eight parts per thousand. Now, we found that shad benefit from a higher salt content. So we like to keep it at four cups, eight parts per thousand. Moon eye or other bait fish, bluegills, some of your other common bait fish tend to prefer a lower salt content. So we like to keep it around one and a half to two cups, which is about four parts per thousand salinity in this tank. So, one thing I want to go over is some misconceptions about what salt does. Things salt does not do. It doesn't harden scales. This is kind of a myth. So, if your fish is losing electrolytes and it's not promoting a healthy slime coat, once the slime coat's gone, the fish will start losing scales. Once the fish starts losing scales, osmotic shock will kick in. This is where the whole it hardens scales myth comes in. So 
It promotes a healthy slime coat which keeps the scales on a fish. Next, salt does not increase oxygen in your tank. I have people say, well, the more salt I put in, the smaller the air bubble becomes. This is tricky. The smaller the air bubble will help saturate water because it doesn't pop right away. However, salt water holds less oxygen than fresh water. Salt water is 32 parts per thousand salinity. We're running our tank at two to four cups, four to eight parts per thousand salinity. Now that's a long ways from salt water, I will agree. However, the saltier your water is, the less oxygen it will hold. So if you go with the theory, the more salt I put in, the smaller the bubble, the more oxygen, you will actually be increasing the salinity of your water and decreasing your oxygen level. This is why some tank readings, the higher the salt content, the less dissolved oxygen you will read. So in short, salt prevents osmotic shock. My advice, Google osmotic pressure, osmotic shock. It'll clarify what salt does. Now a lot of the information out there about what salt does is referring to an aquarium setting. These conditions are far from an aquarium setting. So keep that in mind when you're reading. I think that's it guys. So that's what salt does for a bait tank. Um, if you have any questions about salt or what you're currently doing with salt, you can find us on Facebook at Catfish Addiction. I'm always available to answer questions through Messenger or email. Real quick while I got you here, we're currently doing a raffle to celebrate the new Chiller Bait Tank name. You can Tickets are $25 a piece. You can purchase your ticket on catfishaddiction.net. We will draw a winner August 31st. Our target is 50 tickets. If we reach that target by August 31st, we're going to pick a winner. If you win, the tank ships free to your door. So, get your ticket, catfishaddiction.net. Thanks, guys.